right, Gray, they're making a list, they're checking it twice, and you know they're gonna find out whose style's been naughty or nice. Yes, the Fash Pack are in town, and they're ready to party. Now here to share their hot holiday tips are fashionistas Alexa, Alexa Shafame, Robin Khan, and beauty blogger Lee Vandenberg. Ladies, so good to have you for the last time, but it's all good. The grand finale. The grand finale. Lee, so good to have you on our couch this morning. Of course, we wanna know from you, what are the beauty must-haves this season? There are so many, but there's actually one trend I want to focus on right now. Yeah. It's kind of a mix of beauty and fashion. It's these super cute foil <gasps> tattoos. Ooh, How yes. much do we love? Love them. Beyonce actually is a huge, huge fan. She is. Yeah, big fan. Now, what's nice about these is they're perfect for the silly season because there's no commitment. You yeah. can slap them on, you can jump in and out of the pool, and when you're bored, you just take them right off. Yes. And my top tip to wear them actually is to mix it up. Can you see here? Uh -huh. I am wearing it with actual like real jewelry okay so mix them Go you know in. yeah i'm oh, very cool. like that robin you know me. i like that you get to save it's money great for summer also <laughs> yeah. for the tans. So oh so great for the tan well in oh. keeping with that that looks really good but uh, alexis i know this season it's all about looking good and the competition is on what are your top party dress picks this season well i think let's support the designers in our industry that work so hard and like let's try to wear a lot more local this party season yeah. So there were three looks for me that stood out off the runway this year that I thought would also make knockout party looks. Uh -huh. The first one being this amazing Miri dress from Ooh, Air. Now this nice. dress can actually be worn 12 different ways yeah. and it's no joke, I've seen it in action. It is so true. you will never run out of options this party season, so that yeah. one is amazing. Okay. And then, you know, we do tend to indulge a little bit um, and maybe our curves get a little bit curvier over the season. So you want like a really flattering, amazing trickum dress. Yeah. And this twist, this monochromatic twist dress from rough tongue wow. is just simply the most flattering thing I think that exists. Yeah, it yeah, is yeah. really spectacular. Awesome. And then just for that, you know, Cool sundowners, oh. you know, pool to party, yeah. you know, those all occasions. Stunning. Michelle Ludic did this beautiful caftan dress that Ooh, I think is just gorgeous. spectacular any way you wear it. Mm, wonderful. So with those three in your closet, I think you're going to have an amazing festive season. Yeezys. Thank you so much, Alexis. Now, of course, Robin, we're going to be attending a lot of parties over the next uh, few weeks. And we need things to talk about. Do you want to recap some of the top <laughs> social media stories of 2015? I had three favourite fashion moments on Instagram this year. And one yeah. of them being the Beeb. Taking off beads. his shirt for a well-known oh, underwear brand. We love him. Um, we, oh, he's, just, he's just eye candy. <laughs> he's for, everything. For every age and every stage. Yeah. But Shane, his poor girlfriend in the Aunt Laura Stone, she got a bit of hate mail. She uh -huh. got death threats. Ooh. So, um, yeah. It's she was never for, ready. No, Shane, she was, she was never, never ready. ready. And then my other favourite moment was basically how all the celebrities' kids suddenly wanted to become yeah. new model stars yeah. to be on the other side of the camera. Cindy Crawford's um, daughter was one of the latest ones to join um, uh, a modelling agency. Yeah, they look, they look she like, she's like, so she looks like her like mom. mom. Oh, yeah. Like and then, of course, who can forget the Zoolander bombing of the Valentino <laughs> Autumn Show? That was seriously <laughs> my <laughs> most favourite mo moment wow. of the year. Yeah. It's Ben Stiller, Owen Wilson. I mean, they just it's actually brought it. it to the runway. And in saying that, I can't wait for next year for yes. Zoolander 2. Yes. It's going to be amazing. Hopefully, he won't have one look. <laughs> Ladies, thank you so much for joining us. And I know 2016 is going to be even better than the last year. Oh, awesome.